Protact has introduced a new engine called the 912 IS, and this ain't vaporware you're looking at. This is the first 50 engines coming off the production test line here in Gunskirchen, Austria. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Aviation Consumer, Avweb, and Kit Planes from Rotax's headquarters at Gunkirchen, Austria. The new 912 IS is a pretty impressive technical piece of work. It's got dual electronic ignition, dual fuel injection, and dual alternator. And it's not being rolled out in just one airplane, but at least 10 here at Rotax's product display tent. We're going to take a closer technical look at this engine, and here's Christian Mundinger to tell us about it. The Rotax 912 IS engine provides the best fuel efficiency in the aircraft industry. So our focus is on highest efficiency. So therefore, we use a dual redundant electronic fuel injection system and dual redundant uh, digital electronic uh, engine control unit. So uh, the focus is on fuel efficiency. In the automotive industry, you said it yourself, uh, we are using those parts which are now available also for the aviation market. And, uh, before we couldn't do it, but since they are available also for the aviation market, we started the development and uh, we achieved, I think, a, a, a big step forward, up to 20% uh, better fuel efficiency uh, compared to the existing uh, 912 uh, ULS. If you fly, for example, at cruise power setting in 5,000 feet mean sea level, or an, and up to 70% if you compare to other aircraft engines. In principle, it's around 5,300 RPM. There's the threshold, so above, if you give full throttle, then you are in the power mode, wide open throttle, and below 5,300 RPM, uh, you are in the echo mode. We did improvements in the cylinder head cooling by increasing uh, the, or improving the water flow. So uh, cooling is improved, let's say, uh, by a little bit better shaped uh, internal flow. You can run our Rotox 912 IS on MoGas, or Autogas, as you say, on E10 fuel and, of course, also on FGas. NOx sensing is foreseen, so the NOx sensors are already installed, but uh, we uh, will uh, switch on the NOx sensor or activate it later on, and, but we will inform the market uh, as soon as possible. We need to gain uh, experience outside uh, which kind of fuels are used. So this is an iterative learning process. We cannot do it from the beginning. We need some feedback from the field. At the moment, the NOx sensor is not activated. So uh, Lane, for example, we have explained that uh, in the electronic engine control unit, we have uh, uh, Lane A and lane, lane B, double redundant system. And uh, in a normal mode, you run the engine in, on lane A. So everything is controlled, optimum fuel air mixture in every single cylinder by the ECU, uh, calculating all the inputs from the exhaust sen sensor and uh, from the sensors in the airbox. And uh, in case of uh, any uh, unregularity, it will switch over to lane B, and then there is a certain mapping behind. Uh, two uh, separated uh, generators internally, with, uh, which provides 430 watts and lane A up to 30 amps, lane B up to 16 amps. So when you start the engine and when you fire up the engine, then uh, you first connect uh, uh, the ECU with the uh, battery. You keep this button hold and then you start. And as soon as it has started, it switches uh, uh, first to generator A, and then after a certain threshold of RPM to generator B. You can find out more about the 912 IS at flyrotax.com or in Kit Planes Magazine at kitplanes.com. For Kit Planes and Abweb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.